Hey guys, Matt's here. In this video, I'm gonna show you something that's gonna blow your mind. I'm gonna show you why you've been doing vocal doubles wrong all this time and how to do it right. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you this example on a song by Eric Frank called Honest. We have a lead vocal that we comped and we have a double vocal. You want only one single double, which you're gonna make two because think about it. If you have two doubles, and a lead vocal, you have essentially three vocals running at the same time. So it's gonna be really confusing, especially when you're gonna go back into mono. Here's the trick. You're gonna duplicate the double track, put a track into flex mode. So what you wanna do now is hard pan, left, right, just so that you hear better, then you can do whatever you want, 30, 30, or whatever you want. So after you hard pan, you wanna move each section based on how much stereo effect you want. There's an effect called a Haas effect, Hass effect means if you have the same audio signal and you have it on a speaker and then you have it on the other speaker, yeah, the same one, but you have a certain tiny amount of delay between it, yeah, like a time delay, the ear is gonna perceive it like it's like moving from one speaker to another, yeah? But if that time between those two sounds, yeah, from the left to the right or right to the left speaker is gonna be too long, you're gonna perceive it as two distinct sounds. But if you're gonna be really short, you're gonna, not gonna perceive it as wide anymore. So you wanna be kind of like in the middle. The beauty with this technique is that you can control how much wideness you want. You can control if you want a section to be really wide and then come back to mono, or if you wanna come, start from mono and start to spread out to be wide. Why can I be you notice how the word can pops out? It's just because if you look at the lead, it's not aligned, you know? So what it means, this is the channel that is from the right. It means it goes from the right, it goes to the left, and then it goes to the center. So the effect, the effect is like you're here listening to it, and it's like this, right, in your head. This is amazing, it's like you can never achieve this like just by doing two different doubles. Obviously, make sure you align the first one to yeah. And if you're really nerdy, you can also open up span and check the stereo correlation so that you don't get any phasing issues when it goes back to mono. Why can I be on? And now I'm gonna show you the beauty of this. When you go back into mono, it doesn't sound like three vocals. It sounds like just one vocal because you do that tuning. The two vocals are perfectly tuned. They're also aligned and they're really similar, but you don't have any phasing issues either because when you do the warping thing, you also stretch the waveform. So the waveform is not gonna be the same. It's not just gonna be the same, but just move the bit to the right or to the left. It's gonna be stretched, it's gonna be different. So the waves are, aren't gonna interact the same way. They're not gonna phase out the same way. You may still find some phasing issues, but it's not gonna be the same as just like moving one section to the right and one to the left. That's like the, the wrong way to do it, in my opinion. Never do that, because you're just gonna sound like you have a chorus on your vocal when you go back into mono. And I don't know if you want that. Why can I be honest about how I want you? I guess I keep lying, but I think uh, about you. I could just be tripping, but I think that I lose you. If I could be honest, if I could be honest. So here we are, guys. This is how I do the vocal doubles. This is how I think you should do the vocal doubles. It's such a beautiful and clean approach of doing vocal doubles. Of course, if you wanna make the vocal even more powerful, you can just do regular vocal doubles over it. But I would just do that when you just want like a big choir effect or something like that. I wouldn't do it when you want some like really clean in your face, but super wide vocal. For that, this is this technique, yeah? If you want a lot of people singing, do the regular way. But this is like pure gold and Nobody else is gonna teach you this. You're only gonna see it here because I've never seen anyone else doing it. I know of people doing it because I heard it in some songs. How I figured it out and how I did it, I don't know, man. It's just like practice every day and do every day. And I'm gonna show you a lot of more cool tricks like this, but uh, make sure you follow YouTube, Instagram, Mads on it.